G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to simplify ratios. A very easy technique um, and something you'll be able to do really, really quickly. Now, a ratio, just for a bit of a recap, uh, we've looked at in other videos, but a ratio is a way of comparing two different quantities or even more quantities, okay? And we write these generally as one number compared to another number. So, an example of this, uh, say I was comparing the amount of petrol to oil in a petrol oil mix. I could compare the amount of petrol to the amount of oil. Say I needed 40 parts petrol to one part oil. We would write it like this, okay? So it's a, it's a way of comparing these two numbers. Now, when I talk about simplifying ratios, uh, what we're talking about is reducing it to its lowest terms. Now, a couple of things to understand with this, and these are pretty simple ideas. First off, ratios can be multiplied or divided. The numbers in ratios can be multiplied or divided to give equivalent ratios. What do I mean by that? Well, say I was talking about 80 parts petrol I was using. As you'll see with this, I've just doubled this number. I've just times it by 2. Okay. Well, I can multiply this by 2 and keep the ratio the same by multiplying this other part also by 2. Okay, so uh, if I multiply this by 2 to get 80, I multiply this one here to get 2, and it's an equivalent, okay, it's an equivalent ratio there. Okay, we're still, this number is still, this number is still 40 times the amount of this number, okay, so 40 is still, is 40 times 1, and, and 80 is 40 times 2. Okay, so we can multiply or divide numbers and the numbers in a ratio, and we can keep the ratio equivalent, and therefore we can play around with it. And when we're saying about simplifying it, all we're doing it is we're making it like this one, at its most reduced form. So we've divided it down to its most reduced form. So I'll give you a couple of examples of doing this. In fact, the examples I'm going to give you are as follows, okay? Because these are the most likely ones you'll encounter. Where we're asked to simplify a ratio, such as 16 to 40, Okay, and turn that into its most simple form. Or say we were asked to simplify uh, a ratio, or make a ratio, and then simplify where we had, say, something like um, 60 centimetres and 1.8 metres. And putting that into a ratio and then simplifying it. Or say we were asked to simplify a ratio where we were looking at fractions and we're saying 3 fifths is to 8 tenths and how we would simplify this ratio. Or say we were asked to simplify a decimal type ratio where it was like, say, something like 2.1 is to 0 0.3. So these are the examples we'll have a look at. Okay, I'll go through these in each turn. So we'll look at the example, 16 is to 40. Now, when we're simplifying this particular ratio here, what we're doing is we're just taking it down to its lowest terms once again, so we're looking for a number that divides into both of these numbers. Okay, so a number that divides into both 16 and 40, and you might look at it and go, hey, 4 goes into both. So I'm going to divide 4 into both of these numbers. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Okay, so with this, you might look at this now and say, is this at its lowest terms. Could this be reduced any further? Is there a number that goes into 4 and 10, that divides into both 4 and 10, to reduce it further? And there is a common number that both goes into 4 and 10. 2 goes into it, so I can reduce this further. 2 goes into 4 2 times, and it goes into 10 5 times. Is there a number that goes into both of these, that divides into both of these, to reduce it further? Well, there's not. So this is said to be simplified. It's at its most simple. Okay? It's most reduced form. Okay, we'll go through the next example. Say what we were looking at now is we're looking at putting 60 centimetres and 1.8 metres into a ratio and then reducing it into its simplest form. Now when we do this, first off, what we need to do is if you get something like this, you need to make sure the units are the same. We need to make sure we're comparing the same things. So I'm going to make both of these into centimetres. So we're comparing 60 centimetres, which doesn't need to change, but 1.8 metres, I'm going to change into centimetres, 100 centimetres in a metre, this is 180 centimetres. Okay? 
so as a ratio this is 60 is to 180 and we look for a number now that both goes into both of these 60 goes into both of these 60 goes into this one once and 60 goes into 180 three times and now we look at this and we think is there a number that goes into both of these that can reduce it further and the answer is going to be no because this is a one we're not going to reduce this one down any further so this is at its most simplified version okay uh, the next one we were going to have a look at was that fractiony one wasn't it that was three fifths is to eight over ten now when you get one like this these aren't that bad uh, they look a bit scary to start off with but pretty much the way that you do these is the first goal that we have is we're just going to get these bottom numbers these denominators the same okay and you might need to stuff around or mess around with both uh, either the, both fractions or just one of the fractions with this one you're going to notice that we have a 5 on the bottom number here and a 10 on the bottom number here so if I double this and make an equivalent fraction here if I, I can change this bottom number so it's a 10 okay so to do that I'd have to multiply this bottom number by 2 okay 5 times 2 is 10 2 times 3 is 6 uh, and then this number is going to stay the same because I don't need to mess with that one so now our ratio has been changed to this now this is the really good bit of this part now we can just get rid of this bottom part so we end up with 6 is to 8 we get rid of those denominators and now we reduce it as normal is there a number that goes into both? yeah, 2 goes into both 2 goes into this one 3 times and 2 goes into this one 4 times it's been simplified. There's no other number that will reduce this any further. Okay, and the last one which I'd given the example of is where you would get a decimal. Say you were asked to simplify a ratio of 2.1 is to 0 0.3. Now, if you get something like this, the easiest way straight away is to get rid of these decimals. And if we multiply both of these numbers by 10, this will turn into 21 and this number will turn into 3 and now we reduce these as normal so a number that goes into both of these is 3 it goes into this one 7 times it goes into this one 1 times can't be reduced any further this is at its most simple okay so this is the way that you simplify ra uh, ratios fairly simple okay I hope to see you next time thank you for watching bye